These words from the book of Hosea were chosen as the episcopal motto by Monsignor Rafik Nahra, the new auxiliary bishop of Jerusalem of the Latins. It is the experience of my life. God gives his fruits. It is not me who does things. I have to say yes. I have to be faithful, persevering. But it is God who blesses and gives his fruits. The new bishop's consecration ceremony was held Saturday, April the 30th, in the Basilica of the Annunciation in Nazareth, the site of the Virgin Mary's yes to God's saving plan. It is a joy for the Church of Jerusalem and its new bishop. Bishop Rafi Gnachra was consecrated here in the Basilica of the Annunciation in Nazareth. He resides here and has a love for the Blessed Virgin and the place of the Incarnation. It is very nice that the ordination took place here in Nazareth, in the place of Mary's yes. In some ways, the yes of the new bishop is also accompanied by the grace, intercession and benevolence of the Mother of Jesus. The celebration was presided over by his beatitude Pier Battista Pizzaballa, Patriarch of Jerusalem of the Latins, in the presence of numerous religious authorities. Today you too are joined to the mission of Peter and the Apostles, the Patriarch said in his homily the mission of being a witness to the Risen One. And only one thing will be asked of you before your anointing. Do you really love him? His mission will be to continue to serve the Jerusalem Church in Israel, especially in Galilee, a very composite society where there are so many different realities. And he who knows these realities well will be able to serve them well. Bishop Rafik Nakhra comes from the Diocese of Paris, where he was a seminarian and then a young priest. I met him when he was a young priest. My presence here is to bring him the closeness of the Diocese of Paris, which rejoices in this Episcopal consecration in the service of the Church. The ceremony of consecration is rich in symbols. After the Liturgy of the Word, the Papal Bull of nomination is read to those present and the litany of the saints is sung. The most significant moment is the laying on of hands on the new bishop by all the bishops present, a gesture that is followed by anointing the sacred chrism. Throughout the consecratory prayer, the Bible remains above the head of the new bishop, supported by two deacons. Finally, the ordained bishop receives his insignia, the mitre, the pastoral staff and the ring. It's touching. We met when I was 18. Now I'm a few years older, it's especially touching. I had a knot in my throat as I was commenting on the celebration. Rafi's journey is really beautiful. So I know him because he was first our parish priest and then the vicar of the Hebrew-speaking Catholic community. So I know him from there and also we're both we're part of the liturgical committee for the translations in the, in the Hebrew-speaking Catholics. So that's where I know him from. I wish him all of God's blessing.